Welcome to Minikun's Health Tutorials. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you in a few minutes how to carry out Kaplan Meyer's survival analysis in Excel. And this video or tutorial is going to be divided into three parts. The first part will be based on how to first of all calculate the participation time of each subject in the survival uh, analysis studies. This is very important because without the participation time, we cannot do anything. We cannot because we need the participation time to carry out the survival analysis, Kaplan Meyer survival, survival analysis, where by the use of the, uh, the time, that's just what we will bring here, we will be able to calculate what we call the survival distribution function. In other words, the survival rate, the accumulated survival rate, this is a survival rate. And then from this, we calculate the accumulated survival rate. And that is what we call the survival distribution function. On the X axis would be our participation time of every individual. And then on the Y axis will be the survival distribution function or the, the accumulated survival rate. Or probability so and then after that the third part will be based on now plotting the what do we call it our survival function or distribution function by the use of an add-in that we will download this add-in is called survival analysis so as i said the video is in three folds let's start with the first part so in the first part as I said, we're going to calculate the survival, what we call it, the participation time or the, the duration of the follow-up of each subject in the survival analysis studies. So let's take, first of all, the first subject, the uh, onset date, in other words, the date of inclusion was on the 27th of January or January 27th if you're an, an American. Then the date of last follow up was on the uh, October 77. And then the end point, or that's the, the end point simply is the, the, what we call it, the end of the study. There's always the onset date. This varies depending on the, the every individual, like it depends on the day that the subject was included was in the longitudinal studies or the survival studies the the recruitment or inclusion of the patients is usually done on different dates you know based on different criteria criteria sorry so that was it so but the end point is always the same the day we're going to finish the study and do the analysis is always fixed at the same date for everybody so without wasting my time, let's start with the first patient. As you can see, for us to be able to calculate the participation time, let's say when we, well, the follow-up data or results that we obtain on the field, or let's say in our study, will comprise basically of these variables. But we need for us to get the status at the end point. That one, we will determine it from this. And then from based on these two, we can now calculate the time of participation or the the what do we call it the follow up period for each patient each patient in the study. So starting with the first patient, what would be his status at the at the end point? As you can see, his status at the last follow up was one. Mind you, the coding is very simple. When the subject is late, we usually code that with one because our judgment criterion here is the the death, the how do you call it? So it's, we code it with one. If the patient is alive, then we put zero. So the first patient was late. He died after the follow-up. You know, at the what do we call it? If you look at his the last date of follow-up, he died. So and then he died 
before the endpoint. So this perfect his status at the endpoint will be that he's late. So we put one with the second patient. You see that he died also before the what we call the endpoint. He died on the his his yes he died no no sorry he died beyond the end point that was his the date of his last follow-up was on the on july 78 meanwhile the end point is supposed of the study is supposed to be june so it means it means he was alive before what should i say at the end point that's june he was alive so you put here zero for the, the next patient as you can see he was um, for the next patient as you can see he died sorry he was alive and then the last follow-up was in february february 78 but uh, and that was that was before the end point so it means this is uh, sensed data like this this the full up was sensed in a sense that the i mean the patient left the study before the end point but he was alive so in this case we we'll put question mark generally to represent sensed data we put question mark this person here is also sensed in a sense that we drain he wasn't dead sensed data simply means if the individual doesn't die it could be that he got, got out of the study, yes, as in this case, or maybe he was followed up till the end of the study or the end point, but he never died. So in this case, in either of the two cases, it's a sensitive data. But the difference is that this was a missing, he got out of the study. So we put question mark. In the second or the, to the fourth patient, with the fourth patient, he died on the in on in august 77 and that was before june 78 which is the end point so we put one and this patient who he died on in may 78 that was before no he didn't die he was alive in may 78 and that was before the end point so it means he probably left the study because he didn't he wasn't followed up till the end of the study he died he didn't die so he was alive but he his last follow-up was in may 78 so it means he left the study so we will put question mark for the next person he died in january 78 so it means you put one the last pa uh, patient, he was alive. That was in 70, like in March 78, he was alive. But that was before the follow up date. He left, it means he also left the study in the sense that his last follow up date was in 70, March 78. And he was still alive at the date of the last follow up. But he wasn't, he didn't participate, he didn't participate in the study till the end. So it means he left the study. So we put question mark. Now, with this, we will now calculate the time of participation. To calculate the time of participation, simply there are three things involved. If the patient was followed up till the end of the study, but he did not die in the sense that in in that case the time of participation in other words the time of follow-up would be for the duration of the follow-up would be what the end point minus the date of the onset date if the patient got out of the study still alive that's why we put these question marks that's that sensitive data in that case we take the last the date of last follow up minus the onset date in the third scenario the the patient was had uh, what should i say um died 
before sorry for the interruption in the third scenario the patient died before the follow-up date so if the patient died before the follow-up date just like here in that case um, sorry just like here status yeah if the patient died before the follow-up date in that case what happens um, it means that he died the, the last time they observed this person was when he died so it will be the follow-up date the last follow-up date minus the onset date that will be his the date or, or the, the difference or the, the duration of the participation now to calculate the duration in years we will uh, take the difference and divide it by 365.25 simply because we have 365.25 days in a year and to get that in months to get the duration or the time of participation or the time of the follow-up in months then we multiply it by 12. so taking considering for instance the first patient it will be um, just to inform you my pc is in french the what do we call it i am bilingual anyway so maybe if you need some help in French, I could help you out. Um, it's in French, so maybe you would be seeing maybe a comma instead of dot. The comma simply means dot, like point instead of, yeah. So for instance, for the first patient to calculate his participation time, it's going to be simple. You see that the fellow, the, the fellow died at the, you see that at the end point of the study, he was dead. So what it means is that it definitely at a follow-up period or the last follow-up he was dead. So in that case, the we open two brackets to, and then we take the, the what do we call it, the date of the last follow-up minus the onset date. Then we will divide this by three hundred and sixty-five point five. As I said, my PC is in French, the Excel version is in French, so when you see comma, it means point. And now we will multiply this by 12 to give us the, the what do you call it, the time in months. So that gives us 8 point something, but I will convert this to, because I don't want I want I will remove the decimals so to do this I simply have to select the column and I will change the format of the whole column so I right click click on format of cells or cells format now click on number I will reduce the decimal places to zero so I don't want any decimal so this nine it means this patient was followed up in nine months or he participated in the study for nine months in nine good months now with the second patient as you can see he didn't die but i think he he was followed up till the end of the study but he didn't die so this sends it data but it's different from the what do you call it, those who left the study he was followed up but he didn't die the fact that he didn't die it means we are not able to observe uh, or measure the the, what do we call it the event that we we like which is death the, the fellow never died so in that case it sends the data and then but he was followed up till the end of the study so the time of participation or the follow-up would be the end point date the data the end point date minus the what do we call it the date of the onset date that's the, the date that he joined the study and then we will divide that by 365.5 as usual and then we will multiply it by 12 to give us the time of participation in months so if i hit enter that gives me 15 for the next patient it sends a data so we will take The day that he left the study was when that's the date of last follow-up 
minus sorry minus the onset date and then we divide it by 365.5.25 sorry as i said when we divide by 365.25 that gives us the duration or the time in years so to get it in months we multiply it by 12 and then we hit enter and that gives us nine the next patient how do we get it he actually i think he died unfortunately i'm not happy he died but usually when the patients die the calculation is much more easier so it will be the what we call the date, last date of follow-up minus the onset date so every formula starts with equal to so we start with equal then i open two brackets the last follow-up was this minus the onset which is this and i close the brackets divided by 365.25 and then we multiply so we close the bracket and multiply that by 12. this gives us three for the next patient, it descends the data, so it will be equal to, we open the two brackets, then plus date of follow-up minus this, we close the bracket, divided by 365.25, we close the bracket and multiply that by 12, hit enter, this gives us a follow up total follow up period of 11 months for the next patient he died unfortunately and then he died january that was before the end point so it's also simple equal to sorry i didn't open the bracket this minus this we divide it by, sorry, I was supposed to open two brackets. This, no, yeah, last follow up was this, minus this. We close the brackets, divided by 365.25, multiply that by 12. That gives us six months. The next person equal to open two brackets. Um, this sends it data, so it will be the last date of follow up minus the onset date divided by 365.25. We close the brackets, multiply it by 12, and this gives us seven so this marks the end of the first part of the tutorial we've been able to calculate the time of participation in other words the duration of the follow-up for each patient in the next episode or video we're going to see how to now carry out how to calculate first of all the time uh, we, we already have the time then we will, we will now calculate the sensate individuals like we come out with all the sensate individuals and then we'll be able to carry out our kaplan myers survival analysis and plot the curve using the survival analysis at ends so once again thank you so much for watching and see you in the next part of the video for the tutorial.